Welcome to Markets This Week with Pravisa Temple Tree. As reported in our last video, Sensex began its slide from the beginning of this week. Though there were some positive news flows like the US Fed not increasing interest rates, still market did not rejoice. We had some bad news flows too, like we had talked about surprises in the results, Indigo result was a negative surprise to the market. It reported a 73% slide in its profits. Markets backed Indigo stock, which lost more than 10% this week. Post result news flows in Indigo was more disturbing. As analysts are now reporting, many inherent flaws like a company that was an engine supplier to the aircrafts used by Indigo was paying compensation to the company since three quarters. Some of their flights were grounded due to flaws. Indigo uses narrow body aircrafts, which is now losing acceptance with the growing air traveling population. Also exploring the international skies with low cost model where the competition is really very high. All of these were not new news while it was already there, why all of a sudden talk about all of, the, all of these together when there is a problem with the company? Why did they not voice these concerns when the stock was doing very well in the Jan, Feb, March quarter? One of my friends used to say that analysts always do postmortem and don't do forecast. It is somewhat getting true now. At some times, we have to accept reality and do course correction as it is required. Along with the market, our portfolio is also going down now, whereas the very high recovery we had in April is helping us to continue our outperformance against the benchmarks. Some of the positions we had in our portfolio, like the India Bulls Ventures, which has made 97% gains in the month of April alone. And stocks in our portfolio, about 15 stocks out of the 70 we hold, have made more than 20% gains in April. All these have been helping us and made us reach 11% growth in the month of April, making it one of the best months in the history of our portfolio tracking. Post the Niram Modi PNB scam case, diamond trade has become the worst performing sector in India. PC jeweler stock, which took the attention of the market after the stock lost more than 90% of value since January, along with all other jewelry stocks, was a concern to the total industry. Whereas there are still gems available in this sector, which is Titan, a stock that has made close to 50% gains in the last six months. Our portfolio holds Titan and not PC dwellers. Similarly, in the auto space, there have not been so good news flows coming in the, in the recent quarter, where Ashok Leyland is a star performer. Because of its right positioning in the commercial vehicle segment, now it is emerging to become a market leader and the stock is doing extremely well in the markets. The last one month gains in Ashok Leyland has crossed about 13%. The other day, I had a question from an investor about TCS after its March quarter results, which was fairly good. The question was that, if I should continue to hold TCS, should I or move out? Among the other software stocks, TCS has given very good results while its other peers were not, which gives the indication that all is not well in the industry today. So I told, if you hold a small quantity of TCS in your portfolio, which forms a very smaller chunk of your total investment, you can continue to hold on to it. Whereas if it is a large exposure and you have been holding it 
for quite some time now you would have already made very good gains in the stock so you can take part exit and use the cash to invest into some of the best stocks that are available in the market which is growing at a faster pace tcs is now growing at 19% per annum while there are stocks available with above 50% and 100% growth too tata sponge is one stock which is growing at 120% in the last one year at the same time if someone is planning to invest fresh into tcs i would say or i would prefer not to do so because from this level having big gains at faster pace is not so likely in the stock like this there are questions asked about is it viable is it good to invest into mutual funds now after the markets have taken a fall markets will continue to be volatile for a couple of months from now maybe till june or july too where we have many uncertainties like the elections happening in five states currency issues where us dollar is gaining strength trade war across the globe where trump is wanting to protect the us economy by all means which are all negative to the markets june quarter results which we expect should be giving some good direction and strength to the market the recent news that our gst collection in the month of april has crossed past 1 lakh crore for the first time and the manufacturing pmi index getting positive after a five month slump all shows indications that our economy is reviving and it will soon show up in the numbers so don't wait for more confirmations get into the market when the world is uncertain by the time they are getting clear you would have made a big portion of gains in your investments and that is the beauty of being invested into equities thank you